Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and Kaliandra the cat, and we are going to channel the Arcturian Council. <laughs> oh. <laughs> about what will happen next for you all. There on planet Earth, when we connect with other councils, collectives, and federations from all across the galaxy and universe, we don't know what you are going to do with your free will and neither does anyone else and if they tell you that they know then they are seeking to control you anyone who understands the way this universe works knows that you get to create your experience of the present, the future, and even the past. Especially when you are awake. That is why we find it so troubling to see so many awakened souls tuning in to a particular T 
teacher to be told what will happen next. We would much rather see all of those individuals coming together and deciding not on the specifics of what will happen next for humankind, but on the feeling, on the vibration of the timeline you all want to be on together. And that way you wouldn't have people arguing over which scenario is best. And even when humans can agree on a best case scenario, you then tend to think you have to agree on how to get to it. And that causes a lot of discord, a lot of unnecessary arguing and fighting. If instead you could come together and say, we want to experience a joyous, peaceful timeline. And you could all focus on those vibrations, you could get there and you could be surprised by what you experience. But it would always be something good, something wanted, something that perhaps went beyond what you could even imagine with your limited mind. Now we know that getting together with all other awakened souls and making that decision is a tall order. And we know that for some of you, finding any spiritually awake people to co-create with has proven to be nearly impossible. Those of you who can find a few like-minded souls to co-create with, please do get together with them and talk about what the ideal timeline for humanity would feel like. <coughs> Those of you who cannot find anyone to connect with and harmonize with, we suggest that you just do it on your own. Demonstrate to yourself how powerful you are as an individual. It is so important not to give any more of your power away, even to those individuals who seem as though they want what you want. Nobody there on earth knows everything. And as we have just admitted to you, we don't know everything. We couldn't possibly, because you get to create in this moment and the next. 
something that is unexpected. You get to choose. And we get to help you no matter what you choose. We would never judge you for choosing something other than what we suggest. We just want you to be happy and empowered. And we want you to know that you are ascending. We would also very much like to see you extending yourselves out to others. To offer them this opportunity to take their power back from the doom and gloom scenarios that are being given to them. You can and will rise above any level of consciousness that is there on earth at this time. And you don't have to worry about what anyone else's agenda is because they do not create your reality. You do and you are more effective at creating your reality when you have a powerful number of you gathered with that same goal of uplifting the consciousness of humanity and taking everyone on a joyous journey to the fifth dimension. That is what you are all there to do and you all get to choose how you want to do it. And you are choosing all the time. And that is as it should be. Well, the Turian count. And we have enjoyed connecting with you. Oh, 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 Kali Andre. <laughs> she really needs to come into my office. You really do during the day. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, Blessings to you and yours. Um, I had such a good day today. Um, started out with a hike with the family and um, had some people reschedule their uh, sessions. So I got work done that needed to be done. Uh, there's always a pile of emails um, <laughs> in my inbox and uh, things I need to channel for people. So it was a really good day, really good start to the week and uh, I'm having a, a short vacation for Talea's uh, birthday week. That was my wife's idea. She's like, take the whole week off when it's your birthday, when it's my birthday, when it's Talea's birthday. So I did and it just so happens I, I made that decision even before my mom decided to come. So uh, I'm going to spend time with my mom and um, she's going to get to see Talea and We'll have a little tiny birthday bash here. Um, and we have a, a gift registry for Talea if you're interested. It's down below on YouTube in the comments. Not the comments, the description. Um, I also have this coming up, uh, Ascending to the Fifth Dimension, a three-week course. Um, that starts this week. That starts July 8th and uh, three one-hour classes. 
And even if you can't make it to any or all of them live, you can still um, benefit from this course because there'll be recordings sent out. You can even ask questions if you can't make it live. Um, and so that's at danielscran.com slash ascension or again, look for a link down below on YouTube. Uh, also have a learn to channel beginners course uh, this month on the 27th. That's janglescrand.com slash learn. And that's a two hour standalone class. Uh, I'm going to try a new show tonight. I'm not really sure which one to watch. Uh, I, I subscribe to this, you know, the, you, you probably have heard of epics. It's like HBO and, um, they had some shows that looked interesting, some of their epics original shows. And uh, I started watching this one last night about Alfred, Batman's butler, <laughs> when he was young. But it was so graphically violent and like unnecessarily so at, at some point. So I'm just not, I'm not going to continue that one. Um, well, I'll check one of the other ones out on there. Uh, I think that's it, everybody. Had uh, so much fun hiking today with with Talea. She just loves touching all the trees, and uh, and she just she knows exactly when she needs to be picked up at certain points. And um, oh, and my wife took a baseball hat that is meant for her, like it's my wife's size hat, and um, managed to tie the the two you know things that i guess are velcro or something tie them in a knot so tight that it fits on Talia's head so she's wearing an adult size baseball hat out there on the trails <laughs> it is super cute um anyway thank you all for listening and watching and uh i hope your week's off to a good start too namaste i love you guys take care be back here tomorrow doing it again. So please uh, hit subscribe on YouTube, everywhere else. Just tune in again tomorrow and I'll be back for more. Take care.